Hello Winnie fans, part 2 of the non-pixel art picks for the Steam Game Festival is another lot of 20 interesting looking indie games, beginning with Pontu. This game self-describes as having one of the coolest art styles ever seen, and by god, they are right. A title which mixes genres, from action-adventure, puzzle, boss fights, and even local multiplayer support, it sure looks fantastic and worth checking out. Pon Poo, coming soon. Relax. Embrace the software. We now get some gameplay of the first-person parkour action title, Ghost Runner, where you ascend a towering superstructure to seek vengeance on the tyrannical Keymaster in this very stylish game. Speed and mobility are your greatest assets in battle. The satirical action roguelite, Going Under, is yet another title which I'm pretty hyped about, since it has you fighting through dungeons of failed tech startups as an unpaid intern, repossessing the assets of companies that went under while accruing experience for your resume. wonderful cartoony art style, and the demo was tremendously well received the last time it was available. Griff Helm is a tactical dueling game where you play as a medieval warrior and do battle in a variety of locations, from war camps, fortresses, and on snowy mountains, in a title which simply looks fantastic. I love developer Thing Trunk's first entry, Book of Demons, theoretically part of the Return to Games collection, which all try to pay tribute to some classic title, with Hellcard being a co-op roguelite deck builder, which is a new take that I have not yet experienced. This one is for Factorial fans, since Learning Factory is an automation simulator where you play as a data scientist who just wants to know what his cat wants and has to build complex production chains in order to do so.
An action puzzle platformer that allows you to switch between 2 and 3D is Nico Ghost Jump, where in addition to pure platforming, there are puzzles and combat as you switch between the corporeal and ghost forms. For some reason, there are a number of hot springs or spa management titles in development, and one with quite a neat cell shaded art style is Onsen Master, where you need to manage your customers, prescribing the right concoction of medicinal herbs to cure their ailments. Instantly sold on Ox the moment I saw it due to the art style, and digging deeper, this blends tower defense, deck building and strategy elements as you grow and expand your castle and domain while fighting against the green skin horde, with of course, some they are billions vibes. The recent resurgence of the real-time tactics genre includes the upcoming Partisans 1941, set in World War II as you wage guerrilla warfare against the German occupiers. I love puzzle games like Baba Is You, and the next one that looks to break my brain is Patrick's Parabox. After quite a bit of time in development, the cute co-op puzzle title Fox looks pretty much firm for 2020 and should be a fun one.
more wacky physics-based shenanigans with radical relocation, where your task is simple, move your furniture and belongings from point A to B, but of course, treacherous roads and having to balance objects on top of your car complicates matters. It's no secret that I love the rain, and one game that allows you to cause a little bit of cheeky mayhem is Rain on Your Parade, where you play as a naughty cloud and get up to all sorts of mischief. Another wonderful trailer, so enjoy. You made this world in your image. It's a sick joke. An affliction. A creeping curse that swallows you whole. A fallen, broken, lost control. And now a choice is in your hands. The ring of pain and its demands. Plan your moves with watchful eyes. Engage, attack, or sneak to sides. Forge a path with choices wise. Observe the ring and strategize. Mix and match within confines of items, types, and slots defined. Seeking treasure, strength compounds. Passive powers, some profound. When death approaches, readjust. Your final choice is who to trust. Add another one onto the deck building tactics pile with Rise of Humanity. 50 years ago, humanity created the most advanced AI known as Hive Mind, which, as expected, went rogue and began wiping out humans. Playing as survivors, fight against this mechanical threat in this brave new world. My dad blasted classic rock records while I was still in my mom's belly. I guess I was born a rocker, vaccinated by a phonograph needle. But I'm no longer satisfied with being just a consumer of music. I want to be on that stage in front of 50,000 screen fans. Rising Star 2 is a rock band simulation that leans in the direction of management rather than rhythm game. Write some songs and practice, get involved in the local music scene where bands support each other until one of us can get that elusive recording contract. Sure, we'll have to do some odd jobs to get by, but I guess that's just part of paying your dues. All the hard work will be worth it when it's my band under the lights on a big stage. Developers, please always mark me down if you're making an action roguelite, and such is the case with Rogue Shift. Set on a harsh alien planet with permanent progression, this one gives me vibes of both Starship Troopers and Crimson Lead. Special shoutout goes to Dan Sheridan on Twitter, since he pointed out RoboQuest to me, an awesome looking roguelite FPS, which as mentioned in yesterday's video, is one which I'm always interested in taking the number one spot. 
To see more of the big picture, check out these awesome videos and I will see you after the jump.